G'day folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I welcome you. If you're not new here, I welcome you back. So in today's little video folks, we are on the way to the North Yorkshire Moors National Park, which is on the east coast of England. I'm heading over to the North Yorkshire Moors because it looks it looks pretty nice, you know, like there's a lot of dramatic um, cliffs there. There's some nice little fishing villages. So the plan is to do a little bit of hiking while we're there. And then I've brought me rakes because we're gonna do a bit of sand art there as well. I've found a couple of decent beaches where the, it's pretty tidal. And one of the towns is called Saltburn by the Sea, which is where we're gonna be staying. I wanted to stay in a little place called uh, Robin Hood's Bay, but there was no accommodation. There was, but it was very expensive and uh, I opted for the cheaper, <laughs> the cheaper town. So still looks pretty nice. We've got the car to get about and to do some adventures and stuff. But I'm particularly looking forward to doing some sand art on this beach because there's a, a nice pier there. There's a nice viewpoint for people to kind of have a little gander if they want to, you know? So uh, we've just stopped off at a little, a little halfway home just to get a little cup of tea, top this little baby up. We're about an hour away from Saltburn by the sea now, so we're gonna head off there. Most of the drive is just motorway. It's not very pleasant in all honesty. It's just driving through motorways. It's not my kind of, it's not my idea of heaven. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, without further ado, let's crack on and let's get to the coastline. Okay folks, so we've just arrived, Saltburn by the sea, so there's the ocean right there, it's a little bit cloudy today, but let's go and get checked in first eh, the little place is just down the road here, number 48 apparently. So we have a dog here, Ralph, hello Ralph. Well, here we go, folks. Here's home for the next few nights. Nice big bed there. Nice spacious room. There's a couple of chairs here because guess what we have here? We have ourselves. A nice little sea view right on the seafront here. Salt boom by the sea. So there we go. Nice little place to do a bit of editing later. I think there's a little ensuite here as well. Let's have a little look. Ooh, very nice. This'll do me. And the most important thing, of course, the old kettle for the morning. Panad or day. Yeah, man, well happy. Not bad, is it? Okay, folks, so um, we're off on a little mission. We're going to check out the seafront, see how it is. So like I said before, there's a pier down here. Um, it's low tide, right? Well, in about three quarters of an hour, so it's a good time to go and check it out. Um, so yeah, let's go and see what all the fuss is about in Saltburn on the sea. Well, there's the pier. We didn't have to go too far. And just on the side here, there's like a little train thing that goes up that brings you up to the top here. It's just like a short little trip that you can do, but um, you got all these little huts down here, look. All these little beach huts. <laughs> Plenty of dogs knocking about, which we always like. So here we've got the little train journey that brings you up the hill from the pier. Very British, eh? Something else Saltburn by the sea is uh, pretty well known for is the surf. 
And there's a few people out there. I don't know if you can see them there. Well, while we're here, let's go and have a walk on the pier. Ooh, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. It's a bit of a track from the, uh, from the beach, isn't it? <laughs> Surf shop here. Surf's up. Dog more dogs. So yeah, let's go and see what the fuss is about down the pier, shall we? Here we go. So at the, at the bottom of the, the train thing here, potential Banksy. You never know. The elusive Banksy. Well, folks. If you've never been to a, a British arcade, I'm going to take you into one right now for a quick tour. Oh my god, I haven't been in one of these for years. We used to play these as a kid. We would come down to the arcades with our coppers, what we call the coppers in the UK. A very small change and you'd win I don't know not a lot <laughs> there you go folks proper UK Arcadia and then you come straight onto the pier there we go doesn't get much more British than this people got some grey clouds We've got an old arcade got a pier and loads of people out in their jackets ah, there's a nice little pub down there by the looks of it just here I have to go and quench my thirst in a bit but let's go for a little walk down here first shall we Tell you what folks, this is refreshing. The old sea salty air in the face. Very windy, if you can hear me. I've got my little mic on, should be okay. But man, it just makes you feel so alive. I think we might go for a little grab a quick pint actually in that pub and then potentially go for a little hike up to the top of the cliffs there. See what we're like for daylight. But anyways, let's go back through this arcade. Another world in there. What a pleasant little stroll. Looks like the sun's just coming out. I don't know if you can make out the sun's just hitting the top of the cliffs there. Well, this is where all the people keep their tractors to take their boats onto the old ocean. All of these old tractors, most of them undercover because winter's coming in. But check these out. Little tractors to pull old Tracy Jean in and out of the ocean. Where are Jim lad? I don't know why I was putting on the West Country accent there. We're in the uh, Yorkshire Moors National Park. Not the West Country. That was a couple of weeks ago, that. 
I love these old tractors with boats. So traditional. Anyways, let's go and see what this place has got to offer, eh? More dogs. Which we like. So very traditional here, very traditional. You've got all the old wooden beams, I don't know if you can see. The old wooden beams and stuff like, and you've got all the old kind of windows here too. Beautiful little view over to the ocean there. A few people surfing. Nice little pint of Moretti. A woman on a horse with a couple of baubles on a helmet. Well, there we go, folks. That was the ship. I'm going to go back there for dinner tonight. The menu looks all right. So I think we're going to go for a little hike up there. We've got about an hour and a half of daylight left. So um, the path just starts behind the pub here. Let's see if we can walk to the end over here so we can get a view of the the pier from there. Let's go and check it out. So you got some nice little houses here. One, two, three, four, about six houses. Nicely nestled upon the cliff top with that as a view every morning. So what you're looking at here is erosion big landslides in the past right up to where I'm standing basically all of this would have dropped a huge level and you can see it right here oh, this this line here huge coastal erosion you know so the UK is decreasing in size every day folks every day Spectacular view, lovely. A little bit windy, I don't know if you can hear me. It's very, very windy up here. Let's go a little bit further. I always want to go a little bit further. Why? I just want to go a little bit further up here just to <laughs> see what's around the corner. Famous last words, eh? Well, there's not much more going on. I'm just going to end up walking forever. But um, just check all of this erosion out, man, you know? That's right, right below my feet basically. This is just pure erosion, dropping down straight onto the, the beach down below, you know. This whole south coast, it's getting eroded a lot. Just makes you wonder how big the UK is going to be in a few years, eh? Well, there we go nice little hike up to the cliff tops there supposedly some of the highest cliffs in England didn't know that before I came here either don't do much research do I <laughs> gonna head back now to the room freshen up probably quick shower and stuff like that and uh, gonna head straight back out for dinner promise them guys I'll be back by 8 p.m. tonight for dinner they stopped serving at 8:30, so best not let them down eh anyways let's get on with it well, what a lovely little afternoon that was. This place has loads of character and it made me very excited to see what tomorrow brings. And it was great to be back by the sea, especially with these high cliffs and dramatic seas. I'm not a fan of the wind generally, but when I'm by the ocean, I love it. It's so refreshing. So I headed back to the ship for dinner. I chose the vegetable lasagna with garlic bread, washed down with another moretti. It was delicious. 
While I was there, I made a loose plan for tomorrow, which will be the next vlog. On the way back, I passed by the pier and she looked stunning. All lit up while the waves crashed against her legs. Beautiful. Until next time, take care and have fun folks. Peace.